Recent breakthroughs in understanding the brain have come about because of new technologies like the functional MRI or fMRI. Beginning in 1994, it revolutionized brain research by capturing detailed pictures of our minds at work. Come on over. Do you have anything in your pockets? The more scientists see, the more complex the picture becomes. The ever-changing mind is like a film that is constantly being re-edited at an astounding pace, producing a new story for us every single moment. At Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, Dr. Kathy O'Craven is using the fMRI to create snapshots of us seeing by scanning the brain as it processes visual information. Um, what's going to happen is you'll be seeing images appear on that screen, and what I want you to do is just look at the pictures and try to identify the people and the places that you see. Images of famous faces and places are projected onto a screen. As the subject views them, Dr. O'Craven records his brain activity. We can actually tell whether or not um, the activity is different when they're processing different kinds of images. So while he's looking at these pictures, we can actually localize the two parts of his brain that are involved in processing those two kinds of, kinds of stimuli. When she looks at the data, O'Craven can read the mind of her subject. She can tell what the subject was thinking about, a face or a place. If we look within the region where the place area is, and we see this kind of activity, these bumps, this is uh, how strong the signal was, the brain activity, as a function of time. This is when the subject was looking at faces. This is when he was looking at places. Faces again, places again, faces again, places again. The fMRI can take a snapshot of the brain every half second, but that's a snail's pace compared to the super speed of brain activity, which processes hundreds of thousands of signals every second.